Okay, so this is the video from section 2.2. Section 2.2, it's about circles. I want to do a couple examples with you um, for circles. Okay, so um, objectives of section 2.2, it's writing the standard form uh, of equation of a circle, sketching the graph of a circle, and converting general form to a standard form. So three objectives in section uh, 2.2. So first, uh, let's talk about the, the formula and definition. So the standard form and equation of the circle uh, is the set of all points x comma y in the rectangular plane that are fixed distance from point h comma k we call radius. Okay. So standard form of the circle. So here we have a circle. The center of the circle we call the ord order pair with coordinates h comma k. Now r stands for radius. Radius L represents the distance from the center to any point on the circle. So that's why the radius it's always going to be the same number because the distance from the center to any point on the circle it's always equal. So what you guys see right here, it's a standard form of the circle, x minus h, which means x minus x coordinate of the center to a second power, plus y minus k, which means y minus y coordinate of the center, it's equal radius to a second power. And again, radius represents the distance from the center to any point on the circle. So this is the standard form equation. So let's practice. We need to write the standard form of equation of a circle. So find the standard form of the equation of a circle uh, with given center. Center has coordinates negative two comma three and with the radius equals six. Okay, so we're going to work on this example. So step number one, you want to write the equation of the circle in standard form. So this is x minus h square plus y minus k square equal radius square. Next, we're going to substitute known values. So we know center. So center, it's a point h comma k from the standard form. So we're going to substitute for h negative 2. And we're going to substitute for k from the standard form of the formula of the circle with 3. Okay. Also, we know the radius. The radius, it's equal 6 units. So we're going to replace r with 6. Okay, so let's do the substitution. So we have x minus h h is negative 2 to a second power plus y minus k which is y coordinate of the center to a second power equal radius which is 6 to a second power okay so we substitute no values then we're going to simplify so we have x minus negative 2, which means x plus 2 to a second power, plus y minus 3 to a second power, it's equal 36. So this is how we're leaving the standard form. You don't want to remove the parentheses, because don't forget that in this problem, we're asking to create the equation in a standard form. So don't FOIL, don't simplify, you need those parentheses. Okay, so that's a standard form. Okay, next example. Next example, we have to find the standard form of the circle. And here we have given information. We know center, which has coordinate 0, 6, and that passes through the point 4, 2. Okay, so we need standard form of the circle. So standard form, again, the formula, it's x minus h to a second power plus y minus k 
to a second power's equal radius square. So we know center. That means we know h and we know k. So I can substitute that right away. I know k, I will replace k with 6, and we know x coordinate of the center, which is h, we're going to replace h with 0. So when we're going to work with that, so we have x minus h, which is minus 0 to a second power, plus y minus k, which is minus 6, to a second power, it's equal radius square. So we start working. This is standard form. Like you see, next what we need to figure out, we need to figure out the radius. So to find the radius, we're going to use the distance formula. Because um, here I have a picture of the circle. We know that center right here, and we know given point with coordinates 4, 2. So the distance from the center to any point on the circle is always equal to radius. So that's why to find the radius, we're using the distance formula. So radius will be the distance between point A and B. Point A, again, it's right here. That represents the center. So find the radius using the distance formula between the center. That's the point A, 0, 6, and the given point. Four comma two. So I'm just going to label that given point B. And that will give us the radius. Okay, so to find the distance, we're going to label, we're going to substitute x1 and x2, y1 and y2 with the given information. So we're going to substitute node values. Okay, so coordinates of the center, I'm going to label as x1, y1, and coordinates of point B, I'm going to label as x2, y2. So that radius will be equal x2 minus x1, which will be 4 minus 0 to a second power, plus y2 minus y1, which will be 2 minus 6, to a second power, and then we have to take the square root. So we substitute no values. Next, we're going to combine terms. So we have square root of 4 to a second power plus negative 4 to a second power and add to find radius. So that will be square root of 16 plus 16, which is square root of 32. Okay, 16 plus 16. Um, so we have the radius. And now, when I know the radius, we can write the equation of the circle in standard form. So the formula of the equation of the circle in standard form is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal radius squared. Again, now we have everything. Square root of 32 represents radius. And before we substitute, and we know h and k. So one more time h is the x-coordinate of the center, k is the y-coordinate of the center, and radius, we just calculate, that's just square root of 32. So we're going to plug it in right here. So we're going to substitute no values. So we have x minus h 
again h is just zero square plus y minus k which is the y coordinate of the center equal radius square so radius is square root of 32 and we need to square it simplify so x minus 0 is just x so we have x square plus y minus 6 square equals square root of 32 to a second power will give us 32 and this is the standard form of the circle So this is the final answer. Okay. So to find the radius, again, we had to use the distance formula between the center and the given point. Okay. Next example is about sketching the graph of the circle. So here we have to find the center and the radius and sketch the graph of the circle. So in this problem, they give us the standard form of the circle. We're going to use that standard form to uh, figure out what is the center and what is the radius. So first, original equation of uh, the circle, it's x minus one square plus y plus two square is equal nine. So standard form, of the circle is x minus h square plus y minus k square equal radius square. So this is standard form of the circle. So to graph the circle, we need center. So next what we're going to do, we have to find center of the circle which means the points with coordinates h comma k so now we're just going to compare so we have h here has to be equal one so h is equal one now k k we're going to compare, compare that. Here we have positive two, and that positive two must be the same as negative k. So to find k, I'm going to put it that way. Negative k, it's equal positive two. So that means that k, it's equal negative two. So center, it's the point one comma negative two. Or also we could rewrite y plus 2 as y minus negative 2 and then square it. And then you can quickly see that k will be negative 2. Or just compare. Negative k must be equal to here h must be equal 1. So when we have a center, very important. So here on the right side you guys see it. Center it's a point 1 comma negative 2. Next, we need to find radius. So find radius. So to find radius, we're going to compare our equation with a standard form. So radius square will represent nine in the original equation. So radius square is matching with nine from the given equation. So to find radius, just take the square root of both sides. So we take square root of both sides. So square root of r square, it's equal square root of nine. So radius will be equal three, just positive three because radius represents the distance. So radius is equal three. So to graph the, the circle, technically you will be fine on my MATLAB because here we have a center, radius is equal three. So to graph it, to find additional point, you just need to go three units up. One, two, three, and we have point one comma one, which belongs to the circle. Then from the center, I will go three units down. One, two, three. 
and that will give me additional point to graph the circle. So technically I'm doing the cross. From the center, I'm going three units to the right because that's the radius, one, two, three, and we find the point four comma negative two, and from the center, I'm going three units to the left, one, two, three, and that's negative two comma two, okay? So radius is equal to uh, three. That will be enough for you to graph it. However, the textbook um, and the, uh, the lecture which you guys watch, they also want you to find the x-coordinate, I'm sorry, the x-intercept, which will be right here of the circle, and they want you to know how to find the y-intercept of the circle. Okay, so that's what we will do next. So I'll just move on here. So that example continue. So technically knowing the center and the radius, this is enough for me to graph the circle, but I still will continue with this example. Find the x-intercept of the circle. So x-intercept, which will be this point right here, that's the point for which y-coordinate is always equal to zero. And the x-intercept or x-intercepts, they must be on the x-axis. So to find x-intercept, set y equals zero. So original equation of the circle, we had x minus one square plus um, y plus 2 square equal 9. So I want to find the x-intercept. I'm going to substitute uh, 0 for y and solve equation for x. So we have x minus 1 square plus 0 plus 2 square equal 9. And simplify and solve for x. So we have x minus 1 square, it's uh, plus 2 to a second power, which is 4, equal 9. The faster way to solve this for x, you should subtract 4 from both sides. That will give you x minus 1 square equal 5. And to get rid of, of the second power, just solve it by using the square root method. So take the square root of both sides. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. So that will give us square root of x minus one square. It's equal square root of five. And now we're getting x minus one and square root of five can be positive or negative number. Square root of five is irrational, okay? Um, so now to get x, intercept I would just add one to both sides so x intercept is equal square root of five plus one and x intercept it's equal square root negative square root of five plus one so we have two x intercepts the negative square root of five plus one comma zero, and the point square root of five plus one comma zero. So we have two x intercept. If I will go back to this graph, like you guys can see that we definitely have two x intercept. Now, next what we're going to do, we're going to find y intercept. Okay, so to find y-intercept,
set x equals 0. So the equation of the circle, the given equation was x minus 1 to a second power plus y plus 2 to a second power is equal 9. So we have x minus 1 to a second power plus y plus 2 to a second power is equal 9. We're going to set up x equals 0. Um, so we have 0 minus 1 square plus y plus 2 square equal 9. And you're going to solve for y. And by solving for y, use the square, square root method. So we end up with negative 1 to a second power, which is 1. We have 1 plus y plus 2 square equal 9. I will subtract 1 from both sides. That will give you y plus 2 to a second power is equal 8. And just take the square root of both sides. So that will be square root of y plus 2 to a second power is equal square root of 8. So we're getting y plus 2, it's equal, and square root of 8, square root of 8, we can put it that way, square root of 8 is the same as 4 times 2, which is 2 square roots of 2, positive and negative. Because when you take the square root of real numbers, you can get positive or negative. So we have y plus 2 equal positive or negative 2 square roots of 2. I will subtract 2 from both sides. And we will have 2y intercept. The first one will be positive 2 square roots of 2 minus 2. And the second y intercept will be negative 2 square roots of 2 minus 2. So that positive negative means that you will get 2y intercept. So 2y intercepts point 0, 2 square roots of 2 minus 2. And the second one, 0, negative 2 square roots of 2 minus 2. Of course, if you will need to graph it, you want to estimate what is that 2 square roots of 2 minus 2 um, equal to. And also going back right here, this is the 2 square roots of 2 minus 2, and this is negative 2 square roots of 2 minus 2. So like you see, we have two y-intercepts. Okay. And the last objective of um, section 2.2, it's about converting the general form of the circle to a standard form. So general form of the circle, that's technically the equation which has all the coefficient on the left side and zero on the right side. So it's ax squared plus by plus cx plus dy plus e um, equals zero. It's missing. Equals zero. So general form is not so popular in a circle because from general form, we can't really see what is the center of the circle and what is the radius. So usually if the, they give us the general form, we convert that general form into standard form. Now coefficients A, B, C, D, E, they all represent real numbers. What is important that A must be the same as B. So this is very important because the coefficient in front of A, X square and Y square, they need to be the same numbers. That's how you're going to know that this is a circle. Okay, very important that coefficients A and B, that's the coefficients in front of X square and Y square. In circles, they always equal uh, to each other. Okay, so this is the general form we're going to take that general form and convert into standard form. So let's do the one example. Okay. So write the equation x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 6y plus 16 equals 0 in a standard form. Find the center, radius, and intercept and sketch the graph. So a lot of things going on. We have a general form.
and we need to convert to a standard form, which is x minus h square plus y minus k square equal radius square. So when we have standard form, we can easily graph it and we can easily find the center and the radius. So a couple steps how we're going to do it. Step number one is rearrange the terms. Rearrange the terms, that means put x's together and put y's together. So that's why you see x squared minus 8x and then put y's together. And we will have y squared plus 6y. And what we're doing with coefficient, with the constant, move constant to the right side. Rearrange the terms and move constant to the right side. That's why we have technically what we did here, we subtract 16 from both sides. Okay, so that's step one. Next, we're going to complete the square. I like to put that in parentheses. Then you're going to complete the square. Complete the square. So to complete the square, calculate b over 2 square for each group. And add them to both sides of the equation. Okay, so here, the first parenthesis, we have x squared minus 8x plus that b over 2, it's negative 8, that's the b, divide by 2, square root. Okay, uh, just attach the parenthesis here. And I will do the same thing in the second group. Plus, we have y squared plus 6y plus, again, b over 2 square root. So b is equal 6. So we have 6 over 2 square root equal negative 16 plus the first b over 2 square root plus the second b over 2 square root. Okay, so the first b over 2 square root was negative 8 over 2. And the second b over 2 square root, the second b, it's 6. So we completing the squares, let's just simplify that. So we have x squared minus 8x, negative 8 divided by 2, it's negative 4 to a second power. So that will give us 16 plus y squared plus 6y plus 6 over 2. It's 3 to a second power. That will give us 9 equal negative 16 plus 16 plus 9, okay? Um, so like you see, b over 2 square root, b over 2 square root, b over 2 square root, b over 2 square root. Okay, when you have that, next you have to factor the left side. Okay, so to factor this one, that will be just x minus 4 to a second power, plus this one will be y plus 3 to a second power. And how I quickly know um, how to factor, just be aware that this one 
it's b over 2. So if you will check the first b over 2, it's negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4. Okay, And in the second parenthesis, again, right here to factor that, that positive 3, it's going to be b over 2. b over 2, it's 6 divided by 2, we got 3. Okay, So they always represent here b over 2. Okay. Equal, and on the right side, we'll just simplify, so we're getting 9. And we already have the standard form. So we'll continue. So standard form, we have x minus 4 square plus y plus 3 square equal 9. And the standard form is x minus h square plus y minus k square equal radius square. So to graph it, we need to know that center h comma k. So like you see, h will be equal 4. And k... We have negative k must match with positive 3. So negative k must be the same as positive 3. That means k, it needs to be equal to negative 3. So we have a center. Now, to get radius, we need to find radius. Radius square from the standard form, it has to be equal to 9. So radius square must be equal 9. That means radius is just, just take the square root of both sides. And radius will be equal 3. Radius only can be positive because it represents the distance. And now we can graph it. We have that center with coordinates 4, negative 3 right here. And radius is equal 3. So to graph it, you don't really need the x and y intercepts because you can use that, uh, just find additional points by going across. Uh, radius is equal to 3. So from the center, go vertical 3 units up. 1, 2, 3. Okay, we have it. And you can see that, that that's actually x uh, coordinate, x intercept. From the center, go 3 units down. 1, 2, 3. Okay, we have additional point which belongs to the, uh, to the circle. And then from the center, go three units to the right. One, two, three. That will give you additional point. And from the center, go three units to the left. One, two, three. Okay. So that's how I will graph it. But I still will want to show you how to find the x and y intercept. So x intercept, we can see that it's 0.4 comma 0. But let's just find it. Space. Okay, so I'll just here. So find x intercept, set y equals zero. So we have x minus four square plus zero plus three square equal nine. Simplify, so that's x minus four square plus nine equal nine. So Technically, that will become 0 when we subtract 9 from both sides. So that will give you x minus 4 square equals 0. We'll take the square root of both sides. And we're getting that x minus 4 equals 0, which means x is equal 4. So x intercept is 0.4 comma 0, which, yes, that's correct, x intercept. Now we're going to find the y-intercept. From the graph, I can see that there is no y-intercept, but let's just see algebraically how you're going to know that there is no y-intercept. So find y-intercept, which means set x equals 0. So I'm going back to our standard form x minus 4 square 
plus y plus 3 square equal 9. And we're going to set up, we're going to make x equal 0 right here and solve for y. So we have 0 minus 4 square plus y plus 3 square equal 9. And we're getting negative 4 to a second power, which is 16 plus y plus 3 square equal 9. Subtract 16 from both sides. And you're getting y plus 3 to a second power. It's equal um, negative 7. And there is no y-intercept because on the left side, Whatever y will be equal, plus 3, you have to square it. So the left side of this equation right here is always positive. So this is always positive because we need to square it. And on the right side, we see that negative number, which doesn't make sense. So there is no solution. Also, if you, will tr if you will still try to continue solving, again, next step to solve, you will have to take the square root of both sides. And like you see, there is no solution because we cannot take the square root of negative number. That means there is no y-intercept. And here we see the graph. And like you see, our circle does not touch the y-axis. Again, not every circle has X and Y intercept. It just depends where is the center and how big uh, the radius is. So that was section 2.2. Hope that will help.